During a virtual meeting between representatives of Zimbabwe and their counterparts in Rwanda, an agreement between both countries was signed on both sides by the Minister of Education, Dr. Valentin Uamaria, and the Minister of Public Service, Labor and Social Welfare in Zimbabwe, Professor Paul Mavima. This five-year agreement was signed for the sole purpose of building a knowledge-based economy. The discussions focused on the exchange of selected teachers from Zimbabwe who will be teaching in different levels of education in Rwanda, as explained by Dr. Valentin Uamaria. We had already started to, to discuss about uh, staff exchange, mainly for English and, and STEM uh, programs. But uh, along the discussions, we, we come up with uh, uh, a broadened uh, area of cooperation for different levels of education, not only focusing on primary and secondary, but also higher education, tertiary education, even TVET. So today we send uh, the memorandum of understanding, but uh, uh, it has to be followed by the, the work the technical team are going to sit and then draft clearly the, the, the terms of reference for, for the recruitment of those teachers but also um, uh, assess what is uh, needed in the country, not only in the education sector, because if you've seen, um, we signed uh, the memorandum with uh, the Minister of Labor in the Republic of Zimbabwe because we want to expand and uh, explore more possibilities of cooperation. Professor Paul Mavima assured Rwanda that Zimbabwe will do its utmost best to provide professional teachers so that this partnership yields tangible results. On our part, I wish to confirm that the necessary pre-departure training of the selected personnel will be con conducted to ensure that they easily fit and adjust to working life in Rwanda. An opportunity will be accorded for the members of Rwanda in Harare to give proper orientation to our citizens regarding what to expect in Rwanda. Honorable Minister, you have my assurances that the professionalism and work ethic of the people of Zimbabwe is well recognized. This agreement was agreed upon after President Paul Kagame called on Zimbabwe to provide Rwanda with qualified teachers during a meeting on investment and trade between the two countries, which took place in Kigali last September. Dr. Valentin Uamaria says this partnership is a game changer as teachers from Zimbabwe will share their expertise with those in Rwanda. There is a huge uh, um, benefit from this because uh, we will focus on the uh, schools or that teach educators, I mean focusing on education. So in the long run, uh, we want to benefit from those uh, experienced teachers to train our own, our own teachers for the purpose of uh, sustainability because we cannot uh, rely on them um, uh, for long. So they are going to train our teachers but also um, learn from them what they are doing differently and uh, copy it uh, and apply it in our, uh, in our system or wherever possible. So we see it as um, a more sustainable uh, way of partnership because we are going to train our own teachers. There is a committee consisting of members from four ministries in each country who will meet and agree to the implementation of this agreement in 2022. Jane Mutoni, reporting for RTV.